coming out of the 70s, it was coming out of that that period of rock and roll excess where and extravagance of lifestyle that was so far removed from reality where you had like your Elton John with his 34 inch tall shoes and um, and his $100,000 diamond glasses and all of that kind of crap. You know, the rock music had become corporate and stale and establishment. I mean, if you've got your own fucking jet with your picture on the side of it, you're not a rebel anymore. You're just some corporate entity. The, the economy wasn't the best anymore, and jobs weren't guaranteed, things weren't easy, and and there was a sense of change, there was a sense of boredom and tedium that bloated, overblown crap, um, stuff that was produced to the ends of the world that was unattainable, it was unrealistic. It, I mean, you could do songs about Tolkien characters and, and you know, that was, sure, fine but it wasn't particularly realistic and it wasn't talking to anybody much anymore. The shift in poetry to, to be more industrial, more directed towards um, individual agency and, and the need for change really appealed to the rebel part of me growing up with older siblings and looking at the 60s, uh, from being a kid in the, in the 60s and looking at the, the revolution aspect of it, there were no private jets for Susie and the Banshees or the Sex Pistols or any of those bands. So there was something appealing about that. And then going into the 80s, shit had definitely changed. The New York scene had blown up, the London scene had blown up, and some stuff was now verging on being popular music. And stylistically, the idea of setting oneself apart became very interesting. We were politicized. This was the age of uh, Ronald Cancer Nose Reagan and, uh, and Margaret Thatcher, and repression and uh, religious conservatism becoming a force in democratic politics and uh, and we were pretty steeply opposed to those sorts of measures and the, the militaristic jingoistic lunacy that accompanied all of that when Pat Robertson suddenly became a force of political power it justified any amount of opposition that we could muster through wearing hairspray and, uh, and yelling into microphones. So it was, it was a scene that was of its time.